communication models of communication many theorists have given some diagrammatic representations of communication process in this module we will see osgood and shram's circular model at the end of the session you will be able to discuss osgood and shram circular model generally in communication we talk about senders and receivers but we also realize that after communication process begins when it gets complex and complex it becomes very difficult to identify senders and receivers we know that sender encodes the message once the sender encodes message and sends to the receiver receiver tries to interpret that message by decoding so encoding and decoding process goes on here the person who receives message decodes message interprets message again encodes feedback this feedback is also a message this reaches to the sender again when this message reaches to the original sender sender is no more a sender he or she becomes a receiver now decoding of feedback lies with the original sender that is the new receiver after decoding feedback message the person again encodes new message or response to the response the message again is encode, encoded sent to the other person the other person decodes message interprets it again encodes a new message this circular model is proposed by osgood and shram the concept of encoding and decoding is very important here encoding a message means giving a new form to any idea any feeling or thought by using some sign and symbol systems this sign systems is similar to the receiver so that the receiver can decode the message whenever you receive message you try to understand which system of signs and symbols is used by the sender you try to decode it by using your own understanding of the same signs and symbols when you try to perceive this when you open this message when you analyze this message decoding gets converted into interpretation so first you decode the message and then you come out with your own understanding your own interpretation of the message on the basis of your interpretation you create a new message as a feedback now for creating this message you again try to find out some system of symbols and signs which is familiar to the person to whom you are sending feedback here tying or giving a form to your feedback in some system is a process of encoding here receiver becomes the sender now this encoded message it's sent back to the person who has originally sent the message while receiving the new message from you this person will first decode the message by using system through which the message is formed this is decoding so encoding is giving a message new form and decoding is understanding the form the signs and symbols and opening the message after decoding interpretation starts and this interpretation is actually understanding of message interpreted message is the real message and not the encoded message 